Hey guys, this is Colonel Cripple here, and another vlog. Another vlog. It's about time I vlogged, honestly. I want to talk about something. Something that really interests me. First off, my Nintendo's online connectivity. My internet is fine, by the way. Check this out. I, I, I am downloading Darksiders 2 on the Nintendo eShop via the Wii U. Uh, Wii U version. I don't know if you can make it in the camera. Ten hours to download. It originally said fifteen, and it is only twelve percent done. That is unacceptable. I sold my Wii a while back because I could not get it to connect. I tried freaking everything. Weeks and weeks of changing settings, looking things up on the internet, on um, forums. And everything, and I could not get anything to work. And I was like, screw it. Screw it. The Wii didn't really have good online anyway. The only thing it was good for was downloading virtual console games or WiiWare titles. That was about it. Um, so I was like, screw it. Screw it. And now that I've got my Wii U to work, which I'm happy with. Don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic console. I'm having so much fun with it. So much fun with it. I, I couldn't highly recommend it enough. It's a little too pricey, but other than that, I could not recommend it enough. It's get one. Um, and another thing, Rayman Legends delay. 19 days before release. Just a couple weeks, or a little over. Ubisoft comes out, spur of the moment, last minute, greedy, greedy decision. Oh, we've delayed it. Uh. Are you serious? Two weeks before release? Are you serious? Games, uh, for people that are not in in the know, of, in of the know, <laughs> in of the know, uh, if you catch my drift, <sighs> a couple weeks is usually when physical copies of games get shipped to local stores, be it, be it Best Buy, Walmart, Future Shop, whatever, EB Games, and they get shopped, shopped, they get shipped there so they can start preparing for sales and all that. Um, but, that's how, that, that, just to give you a perspective, that's how soon, that's how close to release they announced the delay of the game. Now, I have some theories. I think, the reason they're delaying it is because they, they made a last minute greedy decision, greedy decision to, uh, you know, make it multi-platform. First off, how is that going to work? Very curious, because I'm getting it for the Wii U, and if you've, if anyone's seen the E3 demo, or play, or downloaded the demo off the eShop, it's very touch screen slash motion heavy. I can see it sort of working on the PS3. Maybe they can manip, maybe they can, you know, because, you know, they got the PlayStation Move, and then you got the regular DualShock with the six axis controls. Maybe they can modify some of the platforming for the PS3, but there's no way it would work on the Xbox. There's no way. Uh, Connect is not all what it's crapped up to be. It's very... Uh, it just... It doesn't do what you want it to do half the time. So, I don't see it working for the Xbox. I really don't. But I have some theories. Now, when it was announced at E3 of 2012, they didn't say it was exclusively for the Wii U. It's never been quoted by anyone exactly. Um, but at E3, they just decided to show the Wii U version off. That was the version they showed. And I think because the Wii U wasn't out then, and that the Wii U wasn't, you know, you know, out on the market yet at that time, people were like, ooh, ah, it's a Wii U exclusive, because they were shown something new and different. But my thing is, I think that there's some some something's fishy. Something happened on the inside. I think someone or some or some organization, <laughs> Nintendo, paid Ubisoft to show the Wii U version because the Wii U wasn't out. So why would they show that version, right? I think they paid Ubisoft to show their version of Nintendo's version of the game to have the Wii U sell. And because nobody quoted that it was supposed to be exclusive, nobody at Ubisoft quoted, was quoted saying, uh, you know, it's going to be for the Wii U exclusive. I think we all just assumed 
but at the same time, at the same time, look, I'm not, I'm not mad that it's going to be multi-platform, whatever. Manipulate the game to work for the other, manipulate the level design and the platforming to work with other consoles, if you must. Just don't, don't take away the greatness, or not the greatness, that makes me sound arrogant to be like, Nintendo for life! No, uh, just as long, they can manipulate it all they want, just as long as they don't get it, as long as they don't remove all the cool stuff we've seen in the Wii U version. Or in fact, all the levels we've are, we've, that are playable right now in the demo on the eShop, make those levels exclusive to the Wii U. But I don't know if that would work, because then people would be like, There's no point in buying the other versions! It's just Rayman Origins, the sequel now, you know? So, so anyway, and that, that's what I think of that. What do, you, what do you think happened? What do you think is their reasoning behind this? Per, most of you are probably just going to say greed. Because the Wii U is not selling very well. And Ubisoft's like, there's no money to be made here. So they're like, we gotta use, do it on other consoles, you know? So... Yeah, uh, that's my second theory. Anyway, type in what you think happened in the comments below. And if you're not aware of this, you are now. <laughs> so, anyway, follow my Facebook page in the description below. I will see you in the next vlog. Sayonara. Not forever, but just for now. Until the next video. Okay, goodbye.